Okay, we're back again. Yes, it's Nick and Glad Narf. To be here. Two brothers trying to bring you some really cool music from the 60s, 70s, 80s, and beyond. And today we're focusing on a great duo, phenomenal vocals. We always talk about, you know, who are the greatest, you know, duets of all time, you know. And these guys are probably in the top 10. I don't know where you guys might have them. Seals and Crofts, Jimmy Seals and Dash Crofts. Uh, we're both born in Texas, met together when they were in a local band, but then they came out to L.A. and they hooked up with Glenn Campbell I never knew in that. a group called The Champs. And they had a group, in, a song in 58 called Tequila. Da -da 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 I never knew that that was them. I had no clue. So they, you know, and then they actually left The Champs, the three of them, and went on to form a group called uh, Glenn Campbell and the CGs, I think it was. <laughs> so... But we all know that Glenn Campbell's career shot up and then Seals and Crofts went, decided to go as a duet and in starting in what, about 69? 69, 69 70? they started. That was their first album in 1969. And, and these guys put out some great music. the 70s, had a tremendous run up to the early 80s. They had like 17 albums all the way through 2004. Some great stuff, double platinum albums with Summer Breeze and other huge, and huge And between albums. them, probably two of the most unique voices you'll ever here voices, in, if you're in, not familiar in with music. their music voices aren't they they're just so unique Gorgeous. Um, made a lot of great songs. Um, so many. Some, a, a lot of the albums. I think we said, what, 17 so, albums in their career. That's right. But the run of 69 to like 1980 is like the heyday. They had uh, some great, great albums. Get Closer was one of their big songs. Humming, Diamond Girl. Hummingbird. Hummingbird. Summer Breeze. Uh, uh, we're going to be, we're, and, and you know, we were trying to figure out which should we play because we love them so much and everything. And we settled on a couple of selections, each from a different album album from a, a different time we we both like summer breeze on awful lot that's really the album that introduced me yeah. to a lot of seals and crops but then i went back and discovered some of the other stuff and i found this one album that preceded summer breeze in 1971 the third studio album called year of sunday and i heard this song on the radio and i never heard it again it was played on fm and i thought wow what a catchy song and then i heard all their other material and i thought wow this these guys are just fabulous you yeah. know uh but anyway we're playing two great tunes one of them is my selection from year of sunday called high on a mountain and nick selected from the great album diamond girl we may, may never, never pass, pass this, this way, way again. again a beautiful beautiful love song you've all you've heard that one but so we're That's gonna play right. it anyway but we're so glad you're joining us today for this episode of nick and where we're going to enjoy entertaining and filling your ears and caring for them with Seals and Crofts. And we ask you to please subscribe, like, and share if you haven't. And if you have, thanks so much from the bottom of our hearts. We Let's listen it. to some music, and leave, Frank. Le leave the comments for us anytime you feel like it. So anyway, let's get into it. This is Seals and Crofts from their third studio album, uh, Year of Sunday. This is called High on a Mountain. I think you're going to really like it. That's a rare sound in the Seals of Cross song. It is. Don't understand it. Why you be that way? I don't understand why you be that way. We had everything we ever wanted. I can't stand to see you slip away. So I'm here. I across. guess I'm Look really right waiting yep. for the wind to bring you back to me.
West Montgomery. <laughs> I did not hear Jimmy Seal singing in there, so it was Dash I, Cross. I, was it just him? I yeah, thought, I think I thought it was they just like, Dash. traded uh, lyrics. Uh, no, he saw his voice is Jimmy That's Seal. That's a little bit of a different kind of a way Seals and song, isn't it? A little different. It's, way it, different. It's jazzier. It's just really acoustic, a little bit of bongo, some bass, and, you know, uh, that, some that wood, 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 yeah. wooden <laughs> instruments, you know, <laughs> some wind. Yeah. Different song, but isn't it kind of cool? It's so smooth and jazzy. It really creates a neat atmosphere. I still remember when I heard this. Over, it was over at our buddy Mike Palulo's house, and he he was it was on the radio in the background. I said, "Wow, what is that? It's just so mellow and 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 funky and kind of yeah. I mean, it's hard to describe. And then it takes off in such weird ways. But it really is a little different than other Seals and Croft material, which yeah. is much more as they as they evolved. Their music got more layered with more instruments and electric, more electrified, more man. And lens, more all kinds of stuff. You know, I, I, again, we go back to this duets, you know, when you think of the great ones, Simon and Garfunkel, I mean, you know, you think of all these different, we told you, Loggins and Messina, we had back, we love Bad Dorf and Rodney, you Bad guys Dorf probably don't know, not many of you probably know them. Uh, Hall and Oates, yeah, you said Hall and Oates. Yeah. I mean, there there are so many great ones. I don't know where you guys think these these guys fit. You know, the the Righteous Brothers. I mean, you know, oh, you could God, go on man, and on duets, uh, yeah. how many great duets there were. I you know, these guys are at the top of the list. They are. It's a wonderful song. Well, anyway, what did you guys think of High on the Mountain? Uh, did you, have you ever guys ever see Seals and Cross? High on the, that's, that's on the mountain, lightning in the air. That's fire on the mountain. Oh, okay. That's okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, anyway, leave us some comments and let us know what you think. Okay, we're going to pause the CD real quick because i got to change it for Nick's selection, which is We May Never Pass This Way Again, a gorgeous love song, one of their big, big hits off of a great album, Diamond Girl. So we'll be back in just a second while Nick is looking for a place to to go to the bathroom we may we, never pass this way we again. may never pass so let's go to the bathroom right now okay we'll be right back okay everyone welcome back thanks for your patience during the intermission we're going to get now to the second selection we're going to present from seals and crofts from this beautiful album diamond girl nick wanted to hear this one i love this song too there's so many great songs by seals and crofts over all those albums but uh, this one is uh, exceptionally beautiful with a lot of layering and it really builds near the end. Just gorgeous. Anyway, it's called We May Never, never pass, pass This Way Again and it's from Diamond Girl. So here it is, Seals and Crofts. Life so the same but a game and they let it slip away Love like the autumn sun Should be dying but it's only just begun 
like the shift right here. Like the twilight in the road up ahead. They don't see just where we're going. All the secrets in the universe whisper in our ears all the years. song isn't it you know i was telling frank you know uh jimmy seal's voice reminds me a lot of randy meisner's from the eagles you know the guy who used to do all the high parts you know um and because jimmy seals can really get up there yeah but you know it blows me away man these guys are in their early almost their mid 80s just it's just scary well, they started they started in the early 60s performing you know I think, I think they're 15 years older than than i am at least i'm i'm 70 you know wow. nick 67 so these guys were out for quite a while but what a gorgeous song. What did you guys think of We May Never Pass This Way? Pretty. What did you think of Seals and Cross? Did you ever see them? Yeah, I saw them. They were on Red Skelton. Yeah, I, okay, I know. <laughs> but did you ever see them in concert, you know? Yeah, let us know what your Seals and Cross stories is, what your favorite Seals, uh, Seals and Cross uh, song. Did you know albums? about their connection with Glenn Campbell? Now, that I didn't know at all. I had no clue whatsoever. Yeah, I'd that heard way. that one a long time ago, and I don't know where I got that from, but it wasn't from the internet, okay? Everybody's from getting stuff from the internet. Yeah, okay, we get stuff 
stuff from the internet, but what about personal adventures? That's right. We'd like to know your personal stuff. So please leave us a comment. And if you haven't, subscribe. Yeah, me and like Paul and McCartney, we did this. <laughs> yeah, me and Paul were like this. Anyways, please subscribe, like, and share if you haven't. If you have, thanks so much. We love you being part of our tribe and our journey. And we hope you enjoyed our Seals and Crofts presentation today. And we'll look forward to next time. And huh? from Oregon down to North Carolina, over to Australia, and to Durban Europe. with our buddy John down That's in Durban. That's right. We South just want to say hello. Everyone. Thank you guys for being part of it, our family. Uh, and hopefully we'll see you next time. On Nick and our. Take care, everyone. Bye. Ciao.